When your child gets a burn, the first step is to remain calm. The first steps to treating your child with a burn are the following. Remove any jewelry, tight clothing, or belts. Wash the burned area with cool, not cold, running water until the pain subsides. Cover the burn to protect it with a bandage if you have one. If not, a clean blanket or clean cloth wrap will do. Be sure that whatever you are using is dry. Then, go to the hospital. Do not apply anything to the burn, such as ointments or butter, as these can cause infection prior to proper treatment. Even small burns can be very painful. If you have time and have it available at home, an over-the-counter pain medicine such as Tylenol or Motrin is perfect. Give that prior to coming to the hospital. When you arrive at Children's for your burn treatment in the ER, you may come in a couple of different ways. If you have driven your child to the ER, you may arrive at the hospital main entrance. The greeters at the information desk in the atrium will direct you to the ER. If you have arrived at the emergency room entrance, you will be checked in with our front desk staff. They will assist you and direct you where to go. If you have arrived via an ambulance, you will be checked in by our staff in the emergency room. No matter what entrance you come through, you will be required to obtain a visitor's badge. Here at Children's, language services are available 24 hours a day. Regardless of how you have arrived, we will meet with you to perform an initial assessment. Based on the depth and surface area of the burn, you may take several paths to treatment. In the case of a less severe burn, you may go back to one of our waiting areas where you will be called by a team member for further treatment. In some cases, you will move into a room and meet with different levels of specialists to review the injury further. In either case, it is important to remember a few things. Each team member you meet with will ask you how the injury occurred to best assess the situation. Our team members are all working individually and at each assessment, they will need to hear the whole story. I know that sometimes parents often ask us, why do I feel like I'm telling the same story over and over and over again? But I wanna tell you why. It's because we wanna provide the best care for your child. If you think about it, if you heard a story from somebody else, they may have left out an important detail, they may have only said some piece of the story. However, for each person, we wanna treat your child to the best of our ability, so we ask you to tell us the whole story so we're not missing any part of the story, that we're not looking at you for judgment, we're not looking at you for anything else but to care for your child to the best of our ability. It is also important to remember to be patient. This process can take time to ensure you are seen by all those who need to gain an understanding of the burn and best assign treatment. Your child will most likely have their burn cleaned and a dressing will be placed. You will be given supplies to take home with you if the dressing needs to be changed at home before your burn clinic visit. Once you are discharged from the ER, you will be provided directions to schedule a timely follow-up appointment in our burn clinic where you will begin further treatment for your child.